from NBC News, this is Today with Campbell Brown and Lester Holt, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. I wish them well, certainly. Let's talk about the bald eagle, a symbol of our country. And good news, the bald eagle is back on the comeback trail. And as NBC's George Lewis explains, it's been a very good week for the majestic birds and the scientists trying to save them. Wildlife biologist Peter Sharp says he feels a bit like a midwife helping the bald eagles on Catalina Island hatch their eggs. Then nursing the baby chicks until they can be returned to their parents' nests. A project he heads for the Institute for Wildlife Studies. And even more exciting, he says, the eagles, once endangered on Catalina, are making a comeback, hatching eggs on their own in the wild, three in the last week. The most recent Saturday afternoon. This is wonderful. I've been I've been waiting for 10 years for this, and we've the institute itself has been waiting 27 years. Bald eagles all but disappeared from Catalina because of pollution from the insecticide DDT, now banned in this country. The chemical causes birds to lay eggs with weak shells that break open before they can hatch successfully. 1.2 million people visit Santa Catalina Island every year, but the only eagles most of them see are these statues on the oceanfront in Avalon Harbor. But now that may be changing. Scientists are still trying to figure out why the eagles are laying healthier eggs while they help them repopulate. Ann Muscat is president of the Catalina Island Conservancy. Hopefully we're going to create a place that these eagles can live for a very long time and a lot of people can see them and enjoy them. Signs of life on Catalina. Fuzzy little chicks that will someday soar above the mountains here. For today, George Lewis, NBC News, Santa Catalina Island. And still to come this morning on today, we'll talk...